Good evening and welcome to the West Coast of Canada. I'm Craig Gill Dude. I'll be your host. I stream live seven days a week, 10 to 16 hours every single day from the West Coast of Canada. We are doing ARC, our tutorial series. For those of you who are new to ARC, uh, this is an opportunity for you to uh, maybe get a little bit of tips and pointers on how to survive the, the hard stuff that's going on with ARC. Um, when you first come to it, there's not really much of a tutorial system. They just kind of throw you onto a beach somewhere and they say, there you go. <laughs> and you're not really given much opportunity. So we're, we're hoping to give you a little bit of a hand with this series. Um, those of you who are in uh, Twitch right now, you can always head over to our YouTube and be able to catch the catch that series. We are on episode number seven at the moment. Those of you who are watching this later on on YouTube, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you like this series and you like what you're seeing here, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Give that thumbs up and maybe tell a friend or two that plays the game, um, uh, you know, about the tutorial series. Maybe it might give them a hand as well. Now, if you like what you see here as well, you can pop over to our Twitch channel by going into the video details there, and uh, you'll find a nice handy link to pop on over and say hi. We'd like to know a little bit about yourselves. Okay, that being the case, now let's let's uh, let, let's start by letting you know how it works here. Uh, we have default settings on the server. We are doing the island. There is no mods. So it is as bare bones as it gets. And Carly, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Tater tots for the win. All right. So last time we left off, we were building this. And this I have to gamma up so you can see what I'm talking about. This is our circular, um, well, I, I guess, um, home that we're going to have here um, at some point whenever we get it finished. Um, it's not bad looking. It's a work in progress. If we were using mods, for example, uh, S+, I would have 
some, um, how do I put this, some depth detail added to it with um, some pillars, but um, it's okay. I kind of like how it is. Um, it, it just, it's not quite how I would do it if I had S plus installed, but that's all right. I mean, it still looks good. All right, now we need some materials made here. We need some more wooden walls, it looks like, and we need some more stone walls for this wonderful base. So let's see what we're missing here uh, material-wise. Last time we were playing, we captured, tamed, and got ourselves a pteranodon. And that's over around the corner where our other animals are. So uh, we'll go over and take a look at them shortly. Okay, looks like we're a little bit shy on wood. So let's go get ourselves maybe some wood. Let's take the raft out and go find some wood in the nearby island uh, across the way there. As there's really not that much wood around here. Uh, there, I mean, there is, but there isn't. Well, shoot. All right, let, let's take what we can find here. We might be able to get enough just by taking our, our barge over here and chopping up stuff. This way we avoid going over where there's carnivores. Um, this this is called Herbivore Island by a lot of the people that uh, play Ark because there's there's no carnivores. There, there's no no critters here that want to kill you outright. I mean, they'll they'll attack you if you hit them first, which you know we've actually demonstrated in the series accidentally um, because there was a couple trikes that really wanted to kill Cranky for um, you know what I didn't even hit the damn trikes. Okay, I was I was doing something else and they came along and they just went. You know, aggro and cranky. I don't even know. I, they're just bad tricks. That's what it is. They're just bad, you know. Big jerks. Big nosy jerks. And that's something you'll notice is a lot of the dinosaurs get really curious when you start building. They'll, they'll come around and poke their noses around. Um, Brontos are, are just notorious for it. Uh, trikes are bad for it too. They'll they'll come around and they'll be like, "Hey, hey, what you doing over there, man? Hey, what you building? Uh, I'm just gonna step all over this, and and I, I'm just gonna watch what you're doing here, and, and don't mind me. I, I'm just I, I'm just here to critique your work." And you're looking at them like, "Dude, really?" And then they're of course gonna take a big dump on on your porch while while you're in the middle of building your porch. And you're looking at them like, "Really? You, you, you couldn't have like you know a meter or two off gone and, and done your business, but no, right right on my porch." Wow. How rude! Don't do it! Don't do it! Get out of here! The big lummox! Get out of here! Get out of here! The big jerk! We have a level up I haven't applied yet. Let's do that right now. All right, let's add it to weight so we can carry a little bit more. We're level 48. We're doing pretty damn good. That is a really nice colored pteranodon. Look at the reds on that one. Oh, and that is uh, another thing. We have been on our community server, been playing with the Halloween event extended. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be swapping over to the Christmas event. The, the day that goes live is the day it goes live on our server too. Kind of looking forward to that this year. Well, we got a fair amount of wood gathered now. Uh, let's bring the raft a little bit closer to the next section of trees. Where 
Where is my water skin? There it is. Hey, get over here. Fill that up. Get that ready. All right, that's a fair amount on the wood side. Now let's uh, make sure we get some thatch to go with it. So remember, if you're using the pick on the trees, you're going to get more thatch than wood. And if you want the wood, you use the hatchet instead. Break out this now, which is now going to get us a whole bunch of fiber. We also need while we're crafting. There we go. That's a good start. All right, let's head back over to where we are building our, our little hut. I don't know if I'm going to take it up too high, if I'll make it into a tower or not. Uh, this is just the start of what we're building. Just the start. It's a little something something. Well, let's make a few of these. Let's make, um, I don't know, let's make 10 of those for now. Well, that's doing that. Let's look upstairs and make sure that we've got the engram for the stairs. We don't. All right. Um, how are we going to do it? Are we going to do the wooden staircase like that straight up? Or are we going to do a spiral set? Um, I think having both options might be worth it.
Well, let, let's get started with what we got here. Um, we will go from there. Hang on, keep that in my inventory. I actually got another level too. Let's apply that so we have even more storage capacity. Oh, Parasaur is just sitting there. I wonder how hungry it's getting. Probably fairly hungry. Now, how are we going to do the... How are we going to do things here? Um, well, so... We could do it like this, where it comes up from here to that second floor. Problem is it sticks through the wall there. Not really happy with that. Can I pick this up still? Yeah. There's a good spot. All right, that's a really good spot. Frankie likes that. We'll see how it looks by the time we get the, the second floor done, but it's not looking too shabby. Now, do I want stone or do I want wood floors? That second level. That is a tough call. That is a really tough call. One of those. See how that looks. And need some more walls made. A bunch of those. Let's take a look. Out of my way, poopies. First floor is done. Well, sort of done. All right, let's take a look at how that looks. Um, I kind of like it. I do. Kind of like it. We'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. That's the
So just like what we did on the bottom floor for the foundations, you kind of have to mimic that for the ceiling above. Just understand that you don't want to um, block block your way up here either, right? So I, I'm I'm looking at how I'm I'm getting up here, and I'm I could probably do one more triangle, maybe two, but I doubt it. this stuff away and let's make sure our dino here has got food by taking it over to our other dinosaurs good evening fox how you doing welcome to the stream gamma down a little bit so it's not so bright in people's eyes See all our dinosaurs here. We've got Screech, we got Daffy, we've got Spike, we got a Parasaur. I didn't even name the Parasaur. Um, that's okay. So we need more wood. Which, uh, like we did at the tip of the island there, we could you know sail the boat around and, and do it that way. It's probably the better way of doing it. Instead of going over to the island and coming back, it you know it, it's a fair amount of transition time on that. Um, got a bit of wood here, close at hand still. Might make do with what we got here. You know, Fox, you're not far off on that. Probably pretty... That sounds pretty clutch to Cranky. I'll have to get a Triceratops and call it Sarah now. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't tame Triceratops very often. Tap the whole crew, yeah. I need that. I need six, maybe eight of them. Maybe five of those. Three will do for now. Oops. Nope, too many on the other one. But that's alright. It's all good in this hood. We understand. Mistakes were made. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for the roof yet. Um, I kind of think thatch might look best with this type of build. But uh, we might have to play with things a little bit and, and experiment and see what looks best for us. Uh, 
Wow, look at you, big boy. Okay. Yeah, we could put the one in. I We, we ain't going to put another one in there. And even that's pushing it on height. complicates things a little bit. I don't know if I can get away with that one. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, that that's tight. That is tight. Um not sure how I feel about that. I think I'm gonna pick that one up. We're going to leave that whole section open. Probably the best way of approaching it. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Alright, the next level we'll put into Fortitude. If you got any questions in the Twitch chat, don't hesitate to ask them. I'll do what I can to help you out and answer any other questions. <laughs> I see what you did there, Red. I see what you did. I need. I need six walls. Oh, thank you very much, Fox. You take care. Get some rest, and we'll talk to you again soon. Okay, so this one we want to put some windows on. So there's two walls that are already built out of the six, I think. Uh, let's go for, thank you for the host, Fox. I appreciate that. Let's build two of these. Another two of those. I can come up here and um, I think we're going to build one of these. I might build some rails. Rails might not be a bad idea. 
build some rails. Although the wood rails might be the better choice than the stone ones, but we'll find out. We're, we're, we're gonna. This is, you know, practice. Finding out what looks good for us. Make a poop box. So we're gonna put our little poop collection box right here. Make a good spot as any. We'll even put uh, some thatch in here in advance of collecting poop, so we can make some fertilizer. So you need thatch and poop to make fertilizer. That's how it works. Now I could put our our preserving bin outside. It doesn't have to be inside. It could be outside. I think for our purposes, we're going to keep it inside just in case dinosaurs decide to get in, in their heads to be silly and cause problems. Like, you know, dinosaurs are wont to do. Uh, oh, add a little bit closer to the wall. A little bit too close to the wall. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. Okay. Next, let's take a look at how these wood uh, rails look. I think uh, with the stone floor, the wood rails are going to be the better choice. I really do. I think I'm going to keep that like that. I want to keep fluctuating between the, the wood and the stone. Whoops. Like that. And we'll take those walls. We're going to need those. a little bit of a gap over there. Well, let's just fix that gap, shall we? There we go. Now remember, we're, we're going to take it one more higher at least before we start making our roof. Another window right here, so you can see in those three directions. I don't see a big need to see behind us, but maybe that'll change. Um, we'll, we'll see because, you know, things can come behind you too. That's how it's starting to look. That's how our base is starting to look. Not bad coming together. Um, let's repair our th stuff here. I love that first.
Here, our sword. All right. Now let's go get some more materials. Don't have a doed yet, so um, I'm gonna do this by hand. I do want a doed though. I gotta remember where on the island a good spot for a doed is. If I remember correctly, it's more in the center of the island to find one of those. Don't really remember seeing them any anywhere on the outskirts. I have to think about it. Hopefully, I'll have thought about it by next week, uh, or sorry, next episode, when uh, we're probably going to need one. Or at least go tame one at that point. So we got another level, and as you've been noticing, I, I've been sticking them every once in a while into fortitude, because we're going to be going north eventually, and if we've got good fortitude, we're going to be able to survive the, the cold a little bit better, and the heat in the heat in the hot zones. So um, to prepare for it is not a bad idea. Although on default settings, I don't remember what number you need to um, ensure you're you're not not going ice cubed, as uh, we tend to call it in the community here. Um, ice cube is where you see it looks literally like a blue ice cube with a red background, and that's where you are so cold that you're actually taking damage from being that cold. It's the stage after the snowflake. Now, because it's on default settings, that also means the resource respawn is on default settings. So it takes a while for the resources to respawn. Whether it's the trees, whether it's the rocks, the metal nodes, all that, it's going to take a little bit of time to respawn. A few days, if I remember correctly. And you don't uh, you don't want to be in the area for that to happen. Alright. So, let's see. Um, I need to make some more stone walls, if I remember correctly, and a, a few more wood ones. So, I want to make at least one more window. Maybe 
four of those. Tell my build for furnishing fly. Not that I can think of at the moment. So that covers that second floor. Now I have to decide, do I want to make another floor after this or just put a roof in? At this point, I think we don't need to get carried away. It's just, a, you know, one person's living space. Um, we could keep going. We could keep making this tower bigger and more floors. Um, in fact, we could, if we go up here quick enough before this time runs out Come on, get up and go maybe here we pick it up nope we pick that up nope we pick that up nope we pick that up nope shoot all right i was gonna make a balcony but now it means demolishing something to make a balcony so now we've got to decide how, how do we want to go go ahead here with this do we want to take it to a third floor and do the balcony there? That's probably not a bad idea. It's high enough that these people's tails and stuff should be out of the way. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make it a third floor. Then a, a balcony to look out on, walk out on, sit on. Okay, so I remember making a staircase. Where is it? We have an extra staircase. There it is. We could take this straight up like this. And if you want it off here, we'd have to get off right here. And that's going to be awkward. But. Questions, questions, questions. How are we going to do this? Let's look at this staircase. Where else can we make it look good? Let's see here from here. I don't know about there. Oh, was that? Right, so we can get up from here. But it's not going to attach very well. Best attachment was in the center here. Something like that, maybe? It's not too bad. 
It's actually pretty decent. I mean, the rail is is a problem, which we just cleared up. Now the, the rail is no longer a problem. It doesn't look off at all. Uh, yes, you did, Jaded. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate seeing you. And I do remember saying hello to you. But welcome, nonetheless. Alright, so... I'm going to have it like that, I think. Go. Get away with that. That's as far as you can get away with. Just like on the other one. Have to crouch as you go up and down these stairs just to clear the ceiling because you're a little bit big. But it still looks the nicest with the swirls, with, with the curve to it. I'm sorry, Jaded. I'm really sorry. Um, maybe we can discuss it later outside of the stream in Discord or something, and I can try to help you through the troubles you're having right now. Uh, currently, we're doing a tutorial for YouTube, and I don't think this is really the place for that discussion. But I'm here for you. Uh, please send me a direct message in Discord, and I'll do what I can to help you. to make some more of those ceiling pieces. Three of those. All right, let's make those three. We're going to have to go get some more stone, some more wood. But hey, we're, we're getting there. That's one of our windows anyways. How did I get stuck in my own box like that? That is a hell of a glitch. There we go. Our first window is put in. Starting to look better here on the third floor. I got you. I got you covered. Let's go take the boat and go get ourselves some more wood. So we can finish off our, our towers. Probably not going to get the tower finished today on this episode, but we're getting really close. We, we've done quite a bit with it. In a very short time.
Watch out for the trikes. Like I said, they, they come looking to get hit by your shit. So, you know, just, just watch it. Same with the Stagos. They're always looking to cause problems. I've got a blood. I get a little bit low on the stone, but that's still not, not hurting the mounts. Not like I'm making a castle here. I'm just making a little bit of a tower. So we don't need really huge amounts of wood or stone, but you know, even the size of the building, you still need a fair amount of resources. see how much thatch we still have. Maybe I'll spend a little bit of time gathering some thatch here as well. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're pretty low on the thatch side too. We've got some. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know, more is better than some. Now it's one of those times when Kitten would be telling me, you need a tickle chicken. And Cranky just cringes because I hate tickle chickens. They go out of their way to kill the Cranky, often as they can. It's almost like they see the Cranky coming. And they're like, oh, fresh meat. Maybe they know what I did to all their brothers and sisters.
All right, another level. All right, it's at 30. It's not too bad. Another one in, in health. Bring her health up a little bit. That should be good for now. Let's head back. Do, uh, you know, a couple more quick things and then we will call it for an episode today. Next time we'll probably get to the roof. The, uh, the entrance to the patio there. Looking good. So that's, that's how far we got today. We did it quite a bit. We got uh, the second floor and working on the third floor. And of course, Bronto has to come over and you know, inspect stuff because that's what he does. He, he's kind of nosy. And we're just going to let him be nosy. And look at our tower. It's starting to look really good. It's starting to come along really nice. And we're that that door is there. We're going to start putting a patio that rings around the whole thing. Starting to look good. Cranky lights. Alright, so on that note, I'm going to say thank you to those in Twitch and thank you to those who watch this later on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, episode. This was episode number seven. And don't forget, uh, if you really do like it, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. Maybe tell a couple friends of yours that play 
arc um, about this tutorial series. Maybe it'll help them out uh, with a couple things that they might be looking to learn if they're new to the game. And those of you who are on Twitch, stay tuned. We are going to continue on, and uh, we're just going to swap over and uh, end this for our YouTube collection. So thank you, everybody. You guys have yourselves a great day in YouTube land, and we'll see you again soon.